the current upstate minimum wage in New York State just went up to $14.20 per hour. For a full-time worker working 40 hours a week, 52 weeks a year, that translates to just over $29,500 per year. Now, as of this morning, according to Zillow, a one-bedroom apartment, the market rate in Buffalo, the going rate is $1,111 per month. That's over $13,000 per year. If we look at the average cost of childcare in Buffalo, according to a national firm, Tutris, that tracks real-time data on childcare, the average cost of childcare per child in Buffalo is about $10,660. So if you're talking about a single parent working a minimum wage job full time for a small apartment and childcare, that's 81% of your budget. And the reality is that without any public housing or childcare subsidies, which are notoriously difficult to access, that means that that parent is probably looking for a second job or a third job, even just to make ends meet. That leaves, you know, from that $29,500 salary, about $5,500 for a year's worth of food, for utilities, for taxes, and all of the other living expenditures that they'll face. And so there's legislation on the table. In fact, there's a lot of buzz right now and a lot of talk about raising the minimum wage in New York State, recognizing that historic inflation, especially last year, has driven costs way up. So there are two leading proposals. One is to start from the minimum wage that we have right now, $14.20 tracking up to $15, and to tie that to inflation going forward, to adjust that minimum for cost of living year after year. Now the issue with that, or the downside to that, is it doesn't catch us up to where the minimum wage would be if it continued to track with economic productivity and cost of living over time. And so researchers estimate that a wage of $21.25 in New York State would start to bridge that gap. And according to our Cornell ILR wage atlas that came out in January of this year, um, that wage increase would benefit over 200,000 workers right here.